Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to be doing a fried egg. I'm going to be doing an easy over egg because I do like the yolk to be a little bit runny and I'm going to have that with some naan bread and probably some of like the little clementine oranges like the cuties and water. Yeah. I wonder what else I'm going to have. Maybe some bacon. Yeah, I should get some bacon. And this is the Columbus turkey bacon that I always get from Costco because it is like the best turkey bacon you could ever get. I mean, it is thick and it's also crunchy and crispy if you cook it the right way. So over in the living room, like I really wanted to put on something that was familiar to me. So I put on Harry Potter and I'm so like happy. It's the very first Harry Potter so that it just started. So. Yeah, and I just took the bacon off the stove. It looks really good and crispy. Like, oof. And I'm just gonna be cooking one egg and heating up some naan bread on the other side of the stove. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. Like, I flipped the egg without breaking the yolk. This is the first time and I wanna say like a few weeks I've been able to do that. Ooh, what's happening over there? Come on. <laughs> got super loud I was just like what the heck is happening but on top here I'm gonna turn it off now because it should be like cooked in a really nice little layer but there's like some crispies on there but in there I put some garlic salt with parsley I should have put garlic powder but I was just like no too garlicky I put in some crushed red pepper flakes and also the everything but the bagel mix and I got all of those from Big Lots this evening. So I'm just gonna plate this and cook up the naan bread. Okay, so we are all done. I have the orange clementine, the cutie oranges, the bacon, the naan bread. I got two pieces of naan bread and then also the egg. So I'm just gonna sit here, chill, watch a little bit of Harry Potter, and then I will get started on the outline for the podcast. Hey guys. So it is her the next day. I'm headed to a dentist appointment. I wonder how it's gonna go because we're in quarantine and everything still. It, we're not in quarantine, but COVID is still happening. And the state of Colorado is no longer under official lockdown. I'm just curious how they're gonna go about this because I got a call and they asked me if I still wanted to keep my appointment. I was a little bit like, um, and they called me again this morning and yesterday just because they want to check and see if I have any symptoms, if I don't feel well, if I've been sick at all during like this entire quor like quarantine, the whole COVID. Um, I of course said no because that's the truth. I haven't been sick. I haven't had a temperature, nothing like that. So everything is fine and it checks out, but still it's very kind of weary. So I... I'm going in. I'm headed there right now. My appointment is at 2:10 and it is currently 126. It takes me about 20 minutes to just get into town. So of course I had to leave right now. But I just reinserted my car mount. I hope it stays up. Like it just fell one day, I want to say um three weeks ago, and I just never put it back up. So I finally put it up, it's working just fine, and I actually readjusted it. Actually readjusted it, so it, I hope it's at a more flattering angle for me. I'm not 100% certain, but yeah, this is just what I'm working with right now. And tonight, and I'm actually going to be going to visit my mom after my dentist appointment, so don't worry, I have a mask and everything. Uh, she wanted to, what did she want to do? She wanted to go out for lunch. I was just like, no, I'm not, probably not gonna be hungry, and you know, like I just finished cleaning my teeth, so it's big no, but I'll get some new drink with her and everything. Um, but that's it, and she and I could go for a drive and our masks and everything, but um, yeah, for some reason, it's just so hot today. When I got into the car, it said, according to the thermostat in here, it was 95 degrees, which is just 
so it's gone down since then in the last like three minutes that we've been driving to 91 so that's very promising for today and yeah I will catch up with you guys when I'm sitting in the parking lot at the dentist office okay guys so I am at the dentist office right now and yeah I am about to head in I'm a little bit nervous not just not because it's the dentist but because I'm wondering how they're going to basically adjust what they do because of the COVID so I'm gonna put on my mask and head inside I'll see you guys after my appointment okay you guys so I just came back in the car it went well I did not schedule for next time because they're not doing like pre-appointments so I should be waiting on a call or a text two or three months before I'm supposed to go in so they actually gave me some floss and you know a toothbrush and it happens to be one of my favorite colors purple so that's great uh, but I'm gonna be headed over to my parents house right now and check up on my mom so I will see you guys, I don't know when I'll see you, I doubt that I'll vlog over there with her, I don't know, we'll have to just wait and see, I'll see you guys in a few. Oh yeah, so I just wanted to hop on here and say what happened in there, what it was like, so I wore my mask in, I don't know if you can hear me, it's all muffled, I hope you can hear me or else I'm going to have to be doing audio over this clip but essentially um, they asked me a bunch of questions about COVID and everything I had to sign an initial a bunch of paperwork and other than that they took x-rays and they cleaned my teeth everything was normal so yeah hey guys so I have come back to the house talking to my mom it was so great I love just hanging out with her I mean, she's she's truly like one of my best friends. I feel like that's so weird how that happens when you grow older, you know? Like once you hit, I wanna say 18 or 19, like your parents just become like your friends. And it's, it's actually really nice. So, because they actually, they've known you all your life and they get you, but now, you know, they, they're still technically your parent, but they'll, they are still technically your parent, but it's, a different kind of dynamic now that you're an adult and you've moved out and you know everything changes and it changes for the better so I'm just really really excited to go and record the podcast and I have a few minutes before I have to start on dinner so yeah let's just head out to the garage slash studio slash shed kind of area and record okay you guys so I have come into the recording area I don't know what else to call it I'm gonna just use this cup no I'm gonna use my water bottle it's taller and yet it makes everything crooked no I'm assuming that's okay I'm gonna be using my water bottle as a little tripod because I don't have a tripod in here at all oh wait no I could use this as a little nope can I nope Ugh. This is so frustrating. I'll just use one of these little grippy hooks as a tripod. But I'm going to be recording the podcast right now. And then I unfortunately have to go to work. So I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Be sure to go and listen to the podcast and subscribe if you haven't already. Just give it a listen. If it's anything that you remotely are interested in please subscribe and i will see you all in the next video remember you're all strong articulate independent individuals i'll see you guys soon bye